This is the video for lesson 13 on my website, Introduction to Word Problem Terms. Most students have a very difficult time solving word problems, and I think this is because very often they're just not taught properly from the very beginning. The way to get good at word problems is to do a lot of them and to do a wide variety of word problems in random order so that you never really know ahead of time what operation you'll be expected to do. You'll have to figure it out on your own. In this lesson, what I've done is I've typed up some keywords which are usually associated with a particular mathematical operation. Now I say usually associated because very often the problems, as you know, can be very, very tricky. And even though you see a word that usually means addition, in the case of a particular problem, it might not. Still, this is not a bad starting point. Let's take a look at addition. If you see these words, usually it means that there'll be adding involved sum, plus, in addition to, total, or and. When you see any of those keywords in a problem, it's a good idea to underline them and just check to make sure that addition is really what needs to be done. Chances are it will, but read the problem very carefully just to make sure. Let's look at subtraction. The keywords are difference, minus, less than, fewer, left, and remaining. Certainly there's many more keywords than this, but this is just a good start. Again, if you see one of these keywords, underline it, read carefully to see if subtraction is really what's needed. If you see product or times or each, there's a good idea that you'll be doing multiplication. And if you see quotient divided by equal groups or evenly, there's a good chance that division will be involved in the problem. Now very often in word problems, you need to do more than one operation. And that's when it gets very tricky it's very difficult to actually teach what to do you just have to do a lot of word problems and really gain experience with figuring out not only what operations to do in case there's more than one but what order in which you need to do them okay, this lesson is just a very basic introduction to some word problem terms in upcoming lessons we'll take a look at word problems involving different operations and word problems involving multiple operations and that will give you a better idea of how word problems work and how to go about solving them.